Welcome to our video on school nutrition policy. What is the school nutrition policy? The Ministry of Education school food and beverage policy requires all food and beverages sold at school to meet specific standards. The Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board's policy is based on research that shows well-nourished students concentrate better, have stronger memory, and demonstrate positive behavior. Schools also play an important role in teaching students the benefits of eating well and making healthy choices through reinforcing these lessons by promoting and modeling healthy eating habits. How does the school nutrition policy apply? The policy applies to foods and beverages that are sold in schools, available through school programs, and sold at school events such as bake sales and sports events. Where does the policy not apply? The policy doesn't apply to food and beverages that are brought from home or are offered to students at no cost, as well as foods that are purchased somewhere outside of the school. In addition, items sold in schools during non-school related events from outside organizations or for off-site fundraising activities are not included in this policy. What are the nutrition standards in the policy? The standards are divided into three of the following categories. Sell most. These products make up 80% of the food and beverages made available. They have more nutrients and less fat, sugar, and sodium. For example, this would include fresh fruit, vegetables, and low-fat milk. Sell less. These products make up 20% or less of the choices made available. They may have higher levels of fat, sugar, and sodium than foods and beverages from the sell most category. Something such as baked snacks would fall into this group. Not permitted for sale. Products in this category generally contain few or no nutrients with high amounts of fat, sugar, and sodium. Chocolate bars, candy, energy drinks, and deep fried foods are in this category and will not be found for sale through the school. KPR prioritizes the sale of foods that are prepared in a healthy way, such as broiling, grilling, poaching, roasting, steaming, or stir frying. How does the school decide which category applies? The schools and the board compare the information from the Nutrition Facts table on foods and beverages with provincial standards. These can be found at www.ontario.ca slash healthy schools. What else does the nutrition policy require? School boards will encourage student nutrition programs such as breakfast programs in each and every school. Nutrition education based on Canada's food guide will be a part of the curriculum. Students will have enough time to keep hydrated and drink plenty of water throughout their day. Schools will respect food allergies, sensitivities, and diets based on cultural norms. Healthy food and beverage choices will be made available at meetings and workshops. Food won't be used as an incentive, a reward, or a consequence. School staff will promote hand washing. And, Safe food handling information will be made available for students, staff, parents, and volunteers. Is there flexibility in the nutrition policy? There is definitely flexibility. Your principal is allowed to choose up to 10 special exemption days in each school year after consulting with school council and students. Healthy options will still be made available during those times. We hope that you have gained helpful information about how the Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board is playing an active role in your child's nutrition. Thanks for watching this short cartoon. Together, we can make the healthy choice the easy choice.